speed bump went over the bars, I hit my head on the ground. I had a helmet. I always wear a helmet. Buh, 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 buh. Bike blogger here. Bike blogger here. On my way to work. On my way to work. Topic of day. Topic of day. Worst bike crashes and accidents. Let me know in the comment section below the worst bike crash you've experienced. Was it on the road? Was it on the trail? How badly did you get injured? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd be interested to know. I'd say my top five, and yeah, I could count probably a dozen times I've fallen off my bike that I can remember. I'd say my top five. Let's go with my top five. No particular order, but my top five. About two, three years ago, I fell off my bike. Uh, I was just riding on the road and I skidded on some gravel and I ended up dislocating my shoulder. That was not fun. It felt really weird. It was kind of a I guess it wasn't a complete dislocation because I was able to pop it back in. But man, it was a weird feeling and I still feel it today. It's uh, a little achy up the hill. Whew. Yeah, so I can, you know, reach up high and stuff like that and it doesn't hurt or anything. But it does feel a little achy. Whew. All right. Might up the hill. Might up the hill. Whew. So that was on my, my left arm. It didn't really hurt, like I said, so much. It just felt really weird. But then it was achy after that. Pretty dang achy. Now, Again, not really pain, it was just achy. And that lasted for, here I'll make a left here. That lasted for a while. It doesn't really hurt or anything. It feels a lot better, I don't even notice it now. Uh, but yeah, that wasn't the most comfortable thing. So it was kind of like a wipeout of what happened there. I just kind of skidded out and I had my arm outward, which is a big no-no. When you fall off a bike, basically you want to tuck yourself up into a ball or something and roll. I did not do that. I just hit the pavement and uh, had my arm just, you know, flailed out like that so fortunately it didn't get any worse than that but yeah that was uh that was a weird one that was that was a weird feeling i fell down and it was kind of like i don't know if you call it shock but i was like what the heck i can't i can't move my arm it was a weird feeling and so i kind of rolled rolled my shoulder a little bit and boop it popped back into place. It was like, wow, that's like something out of a, like, like an action figure toy or something. It's like, oh, the arm, the arm's dislocated, but I can kind of, you know, crank it back into place, <laughs> get the screw lined up again or whatever. It was really weird. Anyway, so that was one. So two, same arm of my wrist. I came to a stop, I was wearing uh, clipless pedals, I was on a bike trail, and I unclipped one of my feet, but I accidentally started leaning the other way, you know, and I was still clipped in. And I wasn't, I was barely moving, I was going really slow. So again, 
another mistake I made there. I I put out my arm, you know, like to catch myself. You know, it's good I don't hit my head. I'm, I was wearing a helmet though. You know, hurt your shoulder or something. But I put out my arm, so I extended out my arm on the side of the bike, which I was still clipped in as I was falling that direction. And I caught myself from hitting the ground with my wrist or my my hand on the ground. Eventually, I did just kind of fall over, but I rolled over, so I ended up actually uh, extending my my wrist beyond you know how far you're supposed to go with it so i ended up uh injuring my wrist and that still aches today if you know i want to try to uh do a push-up or if i want to uh climb a wall or something if i want to do any sort of really uh you know strenuous work on my wrist that does ache quite a bit so unfortunately my left wrist is kind of Kind of been weakened by that and that was a long time ago that was i don't know seven eight years ago now i think about it, that might actually been before bike logger channel that could have been like 12 years ago i don't know it was a long time ago anyway so that's two things third thing is uh i was on a mountain bike trail on a mountain bike single speed uh hard uh ri rigid mountain bike no suspension and i tried to hop a ditch that was not a smart idea what ended up happening was i went over the bars in a way and i fell and then the end the end of the mountain bike uh flat handlebars they lodged into my chest. Oh, let's go straight. Nah, let's go straight. So I basically, uh, <laughs> if, if it didn't, if the handlebar didn't have a, a cushioned, uh, what do we call it? A, a bar end cushion thing? I don't know what you call those things. A grip, I guess. It wasn't cushioned on the end when Nick left here. Sure. And I guess if it had been really, you know, sharp or something, I could have impaled myself. But anyway, what happened was I basically smashed a end of a handlebar into my chest, and I ended up. Uh, Injuring my ribs. I don't know exactly what happened. I didn't get an x-ray. I don't know if I had fractured some ribs, but it hurt. It's like every time you laugh, or you take a really deep breath, it was like, ah, you got some chest pain. That wasn't fun. And I don't know if there's really a fix to that. But I did eventually heal 100%. I'm feeling, you know, I was feeling great after a few months after that. So that was rough. Just as an aside note, one time I did a, <laughs> it's not the top five, one time I uh, did a wipeout again, uh, road rash, I got, I think like 12, 13, 14 stitches or something, and that was wearing long sleeve uh, coat, but I looked on some uh, black ice, so watch out for that black ice. Now we're at work now. I had two more. Uh, one time I hit uh, the speed bump went over the bars. I hit my head on the ground. I had a helmet. I always wear a helmet. And another time, you know, it wasn't my fault. SUV sped through a red light. And uh, actually, let's go straight here. Yeah, sped through a red light, hit me, and uh, ended up getting uh, uh, chest pains and this sort of thing. Ended up being hospitalized. That was probably the worst. So yeah, always watch out for uh, other vehicles because they may very well speed through a red light. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below your experiences. 
And we'll see you next time on the Bike Barber Show. Woo.